Hey, this is Dave Farina from CosmosSafari.com. I'm outside right now with the Nexstar Evolution 8 from Celestron, and I'm gonna be showing you today how to connect this with Sky Safari, which is a planetarium software that's capable of connecting with your smartphone. And this connection um, will also be a special one today because I have up top here the Star Sense Auto Align system. And so the goal is to get them to connect and make it so that there's a seamless connection between my cell phone, the mount, and my ability to control everything right from the planetarium software. Why would you wanna do this? Well, there's a number of reasons. The first one is it's extremely convenient. You can start to find things in the sky. You can look around in your surroundings. You'll notice that I have some big trees back in my backyard. Um, there's houses all around me. And so the ability to kind of just pull this up on your phone and see, is this an object I can even look at? Or is there some sort of obstruction in my way? That's really helpful. Um, it also allows you to kind of get that instant uh, ability to take some basic uh, planetarium-like software features where you're getting some information about the objects that you're looking at right at your fingertips. And it's, it's already something you have out because you're controlling them out with it. And it really makes for a much more rich experience. Um, Sky Safari even has some included voiceovers that tell you about the object that you're looking at. So if you don't want to spend the time reading, um, you can be looking through the eyepiece and you can be listening to uh, someone speaking about what that object is, how far away it is, and some of the history of it. It's just excellent. So I highly encourage you to check out Sky Safari. Um, I will let you know that they're a sponsor of this video. They have been a sponsor of this channel for a very long time. I use their products and I've been using their products for over 14 years. Um, in my daily job uh, as a planetarium director, I use this um, and Starry Night software, which is also by Simulation Curriculum. So these guys have been awesome to me. I, I wouldn't promote them if it weren't for um, my belief in what they do and what they bring to the table. Um, and they happen to be very good at integrating with uh, these telescopes. Celestron and Sky Safari uh, work just like butter together. So let's check out this video and see how it goes. So you'll notice that we have a very neat setup tonight. We've got the StarSense Auto Align up top there, which is basically a camera. And that camera will take images of the night sky and it will figure out using plate solving what part of the sky it's looking at. After it does this, it will move the mount so that it can get the necessary stars to do an alignment process. And once it's been aligned, you can find anything in the night sky. Now, I'm gonna use Sky Safari to do this from this point forward. All I've done at this point is I have turned on the mount. So it says star sense ready. And now I'm going to connect to Sky Safari. Here we go. One of the first steps in this process is you're going to have to go through and find the connection to the Wi-Fi hotspot that's being created. So I'm doing that right now. And once I'm connected to this Wi-Fi, uh, I will be able to then to connect through Sky Safari. So let's open up Sky Safari now. All right, now that we have the telescope hooked up and we have the phone connected to the telescope's Wi-Fi, we're going to go to the menu. And if this is the first time that you've ever set up the telescope, you're gonna to have to go to settings, scroll down to telescope, and then it will say demo interface. We need to change that by adding a preset. For this particular telescope, um, we're gonna be connecting directly to the Celestron telescope. Um, there are other options like using Al uh, ASCOM Alpaca, which is pretty cool, um, new technology that'll allow you to connect from other device types other than just a PC. Uh, there's also Indy, um, which is to connect to things um, like Raspberry Pi-like devices. Um, there's a SkyFi connection, which is um, directly from the Sky Safari folks. And then there's another. The other is what we're gonna connect to. We're gonna scroll down to the Celestron Wi-Fi control and click Next. And I'm gonna check the connection now. It says connection verified. We'll click next and we'll click save preset. Now we've got the direct connection um, and we're gonna say use this preset. 
All right, so our next step is we're going to be connecting to the telescope and you'll notice it pops up the connect and align option. Once we've connected, we're going to be connecting through the star sense and directly to the mount, bypassing the hand controller entirely. All right, and it says set the optical tube to level, which I have done. I've got this one up top here, which is your altitude axis. I've got that squared up with the little check marks. I've got the azimuth base also lined up with these little check marks that allow us to make sure we're set ready to go. And it says set the optical tube to level um, and tap OK to start the star sense auto alignment. Clicking OK. Now this first one, it looks like it's pointing towards a tree. So it could fail here. I've seen it uh, surprise me before, but uh, my guess is we're gonna get a, a failed star sense uh, image. Let's find out. Processing image. Getting plate. Found 100 stars. All right, that's awesome. And it's moving on to the next, uh, next star already. Moving to alignment position. And now it's doing the next capture. Processing image. Working so, so far so good. Found a hundred stars. And it says plate solved. We've got one of our three alignment stars already. This is awesome. And I have done nothing to get to that point. It's just doing it all on its own. How cool is this? Capturing image. Once again, pointed towards that tree. I don't know if we uh, are gonna get anything out of that, but we'll find out. Oh, now it's going straight up. This one will definitely get something. Wonder which direction it's going. All right, we're pointing towards the north towards the Big Dipper. All right, we're gonna keep going. Now we're pointing towards the west. And let's find out what happens here. Almost directly north. Okay, my phone timed out, uh, which caused some problems there. That was my phone's fault. So we're having to restart here. So my suggestion is keep your finger moving on the screen so that you can continue this to go forward. All right, we've got 51 stars. Plate solved, excellent. All right, like I said, just kind of keep your finger on the screen moving around. Um, so that your phone doesn't decide that it's going to sleep because um, it just failed on me as a result of that. Once again, not a problem through Sky Safari or uh, the telescope, but more just my phone settings. All right, we've got one of three aligned now. Pointing towards Aldebaran, it looks like. Processing image. It's gonna find a lot of stars there, I bet. Getting plate. Found 100 stars. I feel like that's the maximum that it will accept. So we've got two of three aligned. Man, it's cold out here tonight. Standing still like this. All right, we're almost directly above us, kind of towards due north. Processing image. And let's find out, are we good? Getting plate and found 100 stars, solving plate and plate solved. That's three of three, alignment successful uh, and we're complete. So we're gonna click okay. 
my gloves would work. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna do a go-to. Um, let's find an object of interest here. Why don't we try going to Mizar so um, we can find out it's fairly easy, right? It's a star um, and we've got Mar Mizar and Alcor and those are uh, visible in pretty much anybody's sky. Um, we'll click on the little info here. You can find out a little bit more about Mizar before going there. And then if I wanna go there, I can um, click SLU2 And the telescope's just gonna take off and go there. You can monitor this on your phone. And let's take a look through the telescope now. Looks like it's pretty good. And wouldn't you know, it is dead center on Mizar. Let's try a different object. Let's go a completely different place in the sky. That's always a good test, right? Where you're facing one direction, I'm gonna face completely the opposite. So um, we were just looking at Mizar. Let's go to Aldebaran now. That was actually one of the alignment stars. We'll get some information on Aldebaran. And once again, if you're interested and wanna go there, click SLU2. And it looks like it's taken off. All right, let's find out if this works. My hands are freezing. All right, heading towards Aldebaran. This is exciting. All right, let's take a look. Hey, there it is, Aldebaran. You can really tell the color with Aldebaran. It's very red in color. Um, it's a red supergiant star, um, which is late in its life. It's eventually going to die, probably be a supernova. So excellent object to look at um, here in the winter sky in the north. Um, we can also check out some deep sky objects, things like the Orion Nebula which of, like the Orion Nebula, which of course is everyone's favorite. So let's get zoomed in here. Ah, why don't I do this? Instead of just doing the uh, zoom and pinch method, let's use some of the other functions here on Sky Safari. I'm gonna turn it sideways. Let's, let's search M42, the Orion Nebula, and then click search. There it is, and click SLU2. It's that simple. Absolutely awesome, right? So right there's the Orion Nebula right behind me. It's spot on. I absolutely love how this is working and I don't know how, sorry about the train. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to observe in any other way. Between the star sense, auto align, and my use of Sky Safari to connect to this telescope, it's just a seamless process. And I absolutely love observing in this way. I really do know my way around the night sky and still it makes it so much more just enjoyable. I can scroll around and find things. I can learn about them. I can work with others and stop having to concern myself over, you know, what is that next object gonna be? Cause it's right at my fingertips here with Sky Safari. You don't have to know your way around the sky but I think it's a lot better to enjoy both sides of that coin. Use the technology to learn the sky and you're gonna be very happy. Thank you everybody. I really hope you enjoyed the video and keep looking up.